This is actually going to be the brand new point and shoot uh, that I actually ordered off the favorite Prime store that everyone likes to use. So let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, it is a 20.3 megapixel 4K for video, 35x zoom. I actually heard a lot of good reviews on this app called SnapBridge. Uh, you install the app on your phone. I think it's got like iOS and also for Android. Basically what it does is every time you take a picture, you can automatically have it transferred over to your phone. And you can't do videos, you can only do pictures. So whenever you snap a picture with this camera, it'll automatically be uploaded to your phone. That way you can share it, you can edit it, you can do whatever you want. Wi-Fi, it's uh, NFC, Bluetooth, Tooth ready it does have an HDMI interface and also it does require a SD card. So this is the quick start guide here. Okay, really nice. That's the warranty card. Okay, this is the Nikon Coolpix A900. Uh, it's got a really really good screen here as well. It is a manual open for the flash. Push this tab to the right here, and that little robotic flash comes uh, flying up on you there. And then obviously you have to uh, use your hand, put it back in its place. And it's got little uh, wrist handle uh, lanyard strap here on the right side. Uh, there's a little grip pad here, uh, which is actually very nice. You will definitely not be able to lose this uh, camera when you're shooting. Really, really thick rubberized padding here, which is really cool. And let's take a look. It's really basic. It does have, I think this is a one quarter inch for your tripods, gorilla pods and all that. It's got a, I think it's like a three inch, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it's like a three inch or almost a close, close enough to a three inch screen. And this does flip up. And let's take a look here. It can also go downward. It's not that heavy at all. I'll probably uh, post a picture or uh, some of the stats. You guys can probably look it up as well. Some mixed reviews on this, actually, from, from what I've heard. It was actually a pretty decent price. This is like sub 400. You have your universal uh, battery charger. You do have your USB charger. This is a micro USB, I believe. You have a battery. They give you the ENEL12 Nikon battery. This is a 3.7, 1050 ohm. Yeah, it looks like a regular point and shoot battery to be honest with you. It does come with uh, one of those lanyards for your uh, for your wrists as well so you don't drop it. It's pretty much it for uh, what's in the box here. Now let's go ahead and see if we can put the battery in and uh, take a look at some of the images here. So the battery is uh, pretty easy to to get access to, you just basically slide this over, align the arrows, you know, the negative, positive, and also the arrow there. Slide it in there. Once you hear that positive audible click, you know it's locked in place. And then of course you have the SD card slot right over here as well. I'm not sure how big the SD slot, I wanna say maybe 64 gigs is probably like your standard uh, maximum size. They also make another color. I think it's a black, it's like an all black color as well. What's also really nice about this camera that I noticed as well is that the Gorilla Pod mount here is actually on the far side uh, from where the battery and also the SD card keep the mount on top of the camera and you wanna get access to your battery or even your SD card, you don't have to remove that piece because it's so far apart and generally that piece right there on the tripod which is going to be uh, detachable it's not going to be that big at all it's going to be like maybe two to three inches max so you can still keep it on there with the other point shoot camera that i've been using which is this one actually right here the rx 100 mark ii i do have to remove that detachable piece from the uh, tripod see if I can do this one handed here. You guys can see right there, boom, I can swap out the battery if I want to, I can swap out the SD card if it's full or whatnot. It does have a micro USB for the charging and then also an HDMI, but I don't think you can get an adapter for it. Unfortunately, you're only stuck with the microphone that's actually on the camera. I'll do a couple of tests and I'll probably uh, use this for a little while and see how it is. But we are recording in 216030 right now with the Nikon A900. And this is the camera that I was actually using in uh, the first part of the video here. I believe I was recording in 1080p on that one. 1080-30 or 1080-60, I completely forgot. Uh, but this one here, this is actually not a bad camera either. So overall thoughts about the camera, very slim, sleek design. It's actually a little bit bigger than this RX100, but it's not that bad at all. If you guys like the video, you know, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys got any questions, you know, put them at the bottom of the video. I'll see if I can get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.